Hi friends, this is Sarojan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good. And today let us discuss about HSRP active active scenario. So there, there are several reasons both the primary and the secondary router will be coming an active active case. So there are several reasons. One I already discussed in my previous video that can be an authentication mismatch between the primary and the secondary routers or it can be a access list which is blocking the HSRP communication or it can be a duplicate address. So here let, today this video let us see the HSRP duplicate address issue. So because of this address issue we are seeing an error message right and both the primary and the secondary are going into an active active mode. So show standby brief. So this is also showing an active mode and let us see the secondary also. So let us remove this debug. Show standby brief. So this also going into active mode right. So you are able to see right both are going to active mode and we are seeing some unknown message duplicate address 192.10.2 on this corresponding VLAN 10 sourced by this address MAC address. So we need to fix the issue let us go to the packet tracer. So I already started the packet capture. So we are able to see right there is only one IP address we are seeing only 10.2 I already told. So primary is 10.2 and secondary is 10.3. So there is some issue is there only we are seeing 10.2 primary router IP and we are not seeing the secondary router IP. So that means the 10.3 is missing is somewhere. So we need to figure out that issue. So let us go here and let us check the client communication also. So client and we are able to communicate but still we need to fix the issue right. So how we can fix it. So let us go to the primary router. Show run interface VLAN 10. So this router IP is 10.2 and the standby is 10.1 and everything is correct right. So let us check the from the secondary router IP also. Show run interface VLAN 10. So here I also am seeing the same IP right. There is an IP mismatch. That is the reason both we have configured the same IP. So that is the reason it is showing the duplicate address error. So this issue it, it will be easy for you whenever you are doing a, your CCN exam or your, from troubleshooting and it will be very helpful. If you are seeing such a scenario it might be a duplicate address issue right. So you have to just fix the address IP address. So go to the configuration mode interface VLAN 10. Let us do no IP address and now let us see the configure the correct address. IP address is 192.168.10.3 right. 10.3 and 255.255.255.0. Now let us see. So now it is moving from active to init right. There are several stages in HSRP also it moved from active to init. Then it will go to the disable state. Disable init. Then it will go to listen, speak and active. Let us see. So it is going to speak right. So then it will go to the, you are seeing that the secondary right. So speak then it will go to the standby mode. So these are the stages it will go for, for HSRP. So now let us see the stages. Go to the, let us debug. Which is our standby packets. Similar way, let us go to the secondary and let us debug. So, debug standby packets. So, it already went to the standby mode and you can see the now proper communication. It is sending out the hello packet and it is also receiving, right? So, let us see. Show standby brief. It is going to active and you are able to see the standby IP. Similar way, let us see from the ESW2. Show standby brief. So now it is working properly right. So this is how you have to debug the issue in case of HSRP duplicate address issue. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thanks and have a wonderful day.